My name is Mars Leon from GBC Live. Today we have Mike Beda. Hi, uh, nice to meet you. Yeah, director of Huasha Finance in China. Mm -hmm. That's me. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, good. Good to be here. Thank you for having me on. You're welcome. Absolutely. We want to talk mm -hmm. about fundraising in China, but mm -hmm. before getting through the topic, we want to have a uh, kind of introduction from mm -hmm. Mike of himself that mm -hmm. he's going to let us know about. Uh, his background, how sure. he got in China, how mm -hmm. he established the mm -hmm. company that he has mm -hmm. now, Huasha Finance. Sure, happy with to. other founders that they have in the company. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, happy to be here. Um, so my name is Mike Beta. Um, first time I came to China was 2008. Um, American uh, came over here with really no, no, I, I guess no, no set goal towards China. Um, really, no, I, I didn't have the China dream at that time. Um, and, and I wasn't really thinking about it uh, too much, but but this was during you know the the GFC in America, um, really tough economic time, yeah. and and I came over here, and that was uh, during the summer in Beijing uh, for the Olympics, um, nice. and and I fell in love with it, and and that was really, it was it was one of the first times that I got to, uh, it was the first time I had ventured to Asia, I'd say, and um, and and it was really the first time I saw uh, a very rapidly developing culture uh, that I did not previously consider. And, and it really opened up my mind. Um, so I came back here as soon as possible. Um, so so post-graduation, I, I sold my car and used that money to buy my plane ticket over here. Nice. Um, and and <laughs> since then, um, so, so came over here on a wing and a prayer. And, mm -hmm. um, and, and since then, uh, really was, was fascinated by where China was going as an economy and, mm -hmm. and where... Um, where it was developing, where it was moving, um, really what was the, the next step. Right. And, um, and I started, started really closely looking at, at kind of, I, I guess, the, the changing mindset of the people. Mm -hmm. and, and this fascinated me. Um, and then in 2000, at really at the end of 2014, beginning of 2015, um, I was introduced to a gentleman who was starting a peer-to-peer a -peer firm. Nice. Uh, and the concept of credit, of, of consumer credit, uh, the concept of alternative financing, alternative fundraising, uh, it's, it's something that's always fascinated me. Nice. Um, and so I was in Beijing at the time, flew down to Shanghai, met him. Uh, that gentleman became uh, Mr. Benny Lee, CEO and Chairman of Huashao Finance. Nice. Um, and at that time I met with um, our, our fellow founding members, uh, the people that would become my fellow directors, uh, and we planned out day one, hour one, day two, hour three, you know, day four, hour six. Um, and then when we, uh, really, when we received our business license in the mail uh, about six months later, uh, we got to cut the ribbon. I, I was uh, opening up our Beijing office, um, uh, still in Beijing at that time. But by the end of week one, we had about 1,100 employees. Uh, and now about three years later, about 38 months later, uh, after our June 5th, 2015 founding, uh, we have about 7,400 employees. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I cannot, I cannot Unbelievable. believe it. Seriously. It's, it's been quick. It's, it's, it's been quick. So I think we lost our unicorn status because we grew yeah. very quickly. Um, but, but no, it's been something that, that we, we started with the, the very simple idea um, that you could either offer people uh, or institutions uh, an alternative source of financing uh, that was different than a, a traditional source, such as a bank. Um, yeah. So going through peer-to-peer -peer lending, alternative financing, um, various forms of crowdfunding, uh, we wanted to be that intermediary for the middle class of China. Nice, nice. How, how long have you been in China again? So about active here, eight, nine years. Eight, nine years. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. I enjoyed it. China, still working on the Chinese, but uh, yeah. but no. Uh, <laughs> it's it's uh, as, as uh, all of my... Uh, colleagues at Huasha, thank you all for, for watching. Uh, as, as they can attest, they, they try to teach me it's still uh, a work in progress. Well, uh, this is normal. Mm -hmm. I mean, every sure. new language takes time. Mm -hmm. Anyway, mm -hmm. as an entrepreneur, uh, what, mm -hmm. what, what was uh, your challenge, your greatest mm -hmm. challenge to have mm -hmm. that company out with sure. other founders or co-founders sure. in sure, sure, Huasha sure. Finance? Yeah. Well, I think it's a good question, and, and I think it's one that uh, for, for anybody starting out, yeah. um, either, let's say, recent graduates, somebody entering maybe a new field, a new occupation, or, or an entrepreneur starting, starting off their new business, mm -hmm. um, there always seems to be more challenges, um, mm -hmm. and, and things always seem to be unattainable. Mm 
yeah. um, to the point where, where many people are discouraged before before even trying something. Exactly. Um, you know, be it be it any any class of people, any type of people, any any income level of person, uh, and and any action that a lot of people are discouraged before they try something. Mm -hmm. um, starting Hwasha Finance and and being there from the beginning, um, you know, it was something we and and our our senior VPs, our our C level executives, they're brilliant, and and they've been in wealth management, and they've been in financing for decades upon decades, mm -hmm. and. Um, but this this concept of peer to peer of peer to peer lending um, of of developing a, a credit score uh, for for individuals and businesses, it had really never been done in China. That was new. It was new. Yeah, we were we were doing this uh, for the first time. We were doing it ourselves. It was um, yeah. Sure. So so there were ups, there were downs, but it was something that uh, there was no guidebook on how to do this. Right there there was uh, there there was nobody to tell you what to do. Um, it was essentially it was intuition. It was uh, a, a little bit of brilliance, but but it was mostly it was it was hard work, right? And and it was perseverance, and uh, it was really a great great spirit. Um, but for any entrepreneur, um, anybody starting a business, first mm -hmm. take take a look at the market. Mm -hmm. um, if if you can fundamentally uh, give people something that they want, the people will reward you for it, nice. uh, and they'll reward you with a successful business. Is it based on a kind of a mobile app or a kind of website? Or sure. How, how people they can reach to your service? Both. So we we do a mobile app. We do a website. Um, with China, that a lot of people I guess don't don't realize. Um, even even people that that live here, um, the Chinese fintech space, right? Yeah. And and kind of financial innovation or mobile innovation, let's say, mm -hmm. uh, is something that that really permeates every aspect of society. Mm -hmm. um, so here we have something called WeChat Pay. Uh, it's essentially like Apple Pay, um, Alipay, Alipay um, but it's, it's, it's accepted everywhere. Uh, so it's Apple Pay, but, but a, a, a very successful and widely used version of it. Um, and this has really, really helped assist connect people, connect people in rural communities with opportunities in urban areas, and, and vice versa, um, yeah. of really bringing that um, that that connectivity throughout throughout the population. So so we really focus heavily on uh, on wherever technology can reach. Then then we can also uh, offer our services, offer our assistance um, to those people. Nice, perfect. So mm -hmm. do you have any competitor in this area? Sure, um, of course. Um, this concept of of writing credit um, is is something that that China's has a a, a great demand for. Let's say China has a, a, a great opportunity um, to utilize credit. Um, the middle class here is is, uh, is is thriving. It's 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 growing very quickly. Um, and in terms of how people fundamentally use use money, um, it's it's something that the resource of peer to peer lending or the resource of underwriting credit uh, can be used by anybody. Um, so that being said, we have you know 1.3 billion people. Um, we we estimate that about 800 million of them are, are in some way able to, to utilize the line of credit. Um, about 600 million of them are being underserved by traditional financial models, uh, be it people or, or businesses. Um, and out of that, uh, about 40 or 50 million have been uh, affected in some way. They, they've either used it from the investment end uh, or from the, the borrowing end. Um, we ourselves cannot service 40 million people today. Yeah. You'll have to give us another week or two with, yeah. with our growth rates, but uh, but but no, we we uh, we, we do have some competitors. Um, I, I won't say anything bad about them. I won't say anything good about them. But uh, you don't need to mention them. Sure, sure, sure. But yeah, yeah. we we do. It's a, it's a, it's a very quickly growing field. Uh, it's it's a it's a competitive field. I'll, I'll tell you that we're the best at it. But um, uh, but it is it is something that that good companies out there um, offer a service that is something that is fundamentally important. Nice. Um, and and it's it's supported throughout. Nice. Uh, let's go we'll go through sure. the topic that we have on raising sure. in China. Absolutely. As an entrepreneur in China, which mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. made a mm -hmm. great company with your co-founders there you. in the Flash of Finance, mm -hmm. uh, we want to know that uh, how is it the fundraising first in in China? How is it the fundraising? Sure. Is it sure. trade? Is it if uh, and a startup goes to Malaysia or goes to mm -hmm. uh, I don't know South Korea or mm -hmm. goes to mm -hmm. London in UK sure. or goes to Silicon Valley, 
Which one is better, coming to China sure. or getting to those places? That's a tough question, right? It's 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 a difficult Sorry. question. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> it's uh, I, 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 please direct the tough questions to anyone else. Yeah. Um, no, no, no. It's 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 a great question. Um, it's it's a tough question, and and I think it 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 really depends upon the business. Um, but but more so, it it depends upon the leadership of the business. Um, that looking through. Let's let's just cut it down in two ways of saying a developed market uh, such as the American market or or a developing market such as uh, you know we could say the the Asian nations yeah. um, southeastern Asia as well um, you're dealing with different struggles and and you're yeah. dealing with different struggles on on one way or the other um, if you're getting started in a, de a very developed economy mm -hmm. um, you're going to have a lot of market barriers to entry uh, you're you're going to have a lot of competition. Um, no matter what your idea is, right? Um, that that there is going to be a lot of hurdles to, to get started. Once you're started, things are going to move smoothly, um, or or more smoother than than they are in a developing country. Um, whereas in in China, or or I'd say a lot of developing countries we've looked at, specifically China, that um, that that you really have. Uh, a far greater chance of getting started. Mm. Um, you have far less market barriers to entry. Um, you are really encouraged. I, I, I think it's a, a great way to say it that, that China encourages entrepreneurs and, and China encourages startups and, and China really encourages uh, innovation. Uh, either in tech, a lot of clean energy now, but um, but China really encourages innovation and startups and, and, and getting on your feet. Um, once you get started, uh, there's going to be more hurdles in a developing country than a developed one. Mm -hmm. you know, the market changes far, far quicker. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, the criteria is, let's mm -hmm. say China is uh, mm -hmm. one of the best places if you can, mm -hmm. you know, have sure. your business launch. Sure. And uh, what are criteria mm -hmm. here, like, you have to uh, follow that make you a kind of successful business, means sure. which you can mm -hmm. raise funds Sure. Easily, not not easily, but sure. raise fund like. If you find a way to raise funds like, easily, you let me know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, 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 but but um, I, I think there I think there's a couple a couple big things for yeah. for somebody to be successful in 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 this market or or really any, let's say any developing market that you're looking at. Um, uh, the first one is flexibility. Yeah. Um, that that a lot of people, um, and and be it natives of a developing region or be it uh, foreigners coming to a developing region um, approach business with a very uh, a very rigid mentality um, that they say I know how it's done and and this is the way we've been doing it and this is the way we will do it um, th that's not going to work here. that's not going to work right um, so you have to be flexible you have to be flexible have to be adaptable um, the next thing is 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 looking at, at other opportunities right um, if you're starting a business and you believe the direction is one way, uh, and, and you're flexible on how to get to that end goal, um, but you see that uh, a, a completely different goal may be more attainable yeah. and, and more achievable, um, then the market dictates that that's the direction you need to go. Yeah. Um, that's staying staying on one set path due to uh, due to either a, a dream or a goal, or, or we could say stubbornness, um, is is, is not the most efficient way to do something. That you need to be adaptable, not only in how its business is conducted, um, but you need to be flexible as to your objective. Uh, I, I think that's very important, uh, fun, fundamentally important. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's say like in Europe or in USA, sure. Canada, Australia, like mm -hmm. let's say that you gotta follow some certain things. Sure. Is there anything uh, that you gotta follow it in, only in China specifically? I mean, to, to uh, have say, your Well, no, it's a good question to say, um, you know, what, what would be specific to the Chinese market? Um, and, and looking at, at the Chinese market, I, I, I do think that there is, um, there, is, there is a lot of opportunity to not only reinvent the wheel, um, I'd say, but, but really bring the wheel over from the West. Um, that, that people will, uh, will, will come here with a very advanced idea. Um, to China, and they'll say, "Well, it's it's the biggest market in the world. It's the world's second biggest economy. You know, 1.3 billion people. We'll we'll look at GDP. We'll say, okay, we can market uh, the the top tier financial services here, um, or we can market the uh, top tier health insurance here, um, or or we can market 
the same thing that we would market in, you know, in, in America or in Germany or in Canada or in Western Europe. Um, and it's, it's not really the right way to go about it. Uh, the market here is, is still growing. But although the, although the market for really any, any product, good or service here is exponentially greater than, than what it is in the West, um, people do misunderstand uh, that China's still, it's still taking baby steps uh, yeah. in, in a lot of fields. And, and it's, it's taking them very quickly. Um, but the market's not ready uh, for, for a lot of ideas. Not, not because people aren't ready for them, it's, it's because the surrounding services haven't been set up. Um, so really coming in here, uh, dipping your toes in the water, really getting the feel of it, um, and, and then approaching the market with, with a fresh, clear mind um, of saying, you know, here's, here's how it's done in China, here's how it's done in the West. Um, I, I can't just bring this idea over. Um, I need to take the steps in between. You know, I need to look at B, C, and D to, to get to E. Um, and the people that can do that are, are very successful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what is happening like in mm -hmm. China, we've mm -hmm. seen a lot of international mm -hmm. startups. Sure. It's really difficult for them mm -hmm. to uh, get funded. And it's sure. really difficult uh, for them mm -hmm. to survive. Because sure. uh, what I see that, that uh, some of them, mm -hmm. they had a kind of, I'm not saying wrong, uh, mm -hmm. Perception mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. wrong uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, idea of being mm -hmm. in China, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's important. Sure. You you come into mm -hmm. the market, you come in China, and have mm -hmm. a look and see mm -hmm. what is going on and so sure. on, and see if your product mm -hmm. or your idea, whatever you are having, see if it fits. If it fits, see if it fits. If it see if it fits. fits. The market. It's, it's the big one. See see if see if the market wants it. Uh, yeah. Don't don't start a revolution in peacetime. You know, give yeah. give people what they want and. And they'll reward you. Don't don't tell people what they want. Exactly. Um, give give people what they want. Yeah. Exactly. And don't think that it is China. You have to do something in China. No, it shouldn't be. I mean, right. you can right. do it. I mean, mm -hmm. don't waste your time, and you can do it somewhere else that it can be successful. Like, sure. let's say in two years, you do it in I don't know sure. Indonesia, in mm -hmm. Malaysia, in Singapore. You do it sure. in I don't know in Europe. Mm -hmm. Once mm -hmm. it gets formed and it gets successful. Uh, in that area, in that region, then absolutely. you see if it can come, you know, to China and to mm -hmm. be successful or not. So absolutely shouldn't be because it's China. It is most of the people are talking about China, China sure. these days. Yeah, mm -hmm. in their talk and mm -hmm. whatever they mm -hmm. have. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I don't think that uh, that would mm -hmm. be a good idea if you get in China blindly. So mm -hmm. get in here to see what is going on. Yeah, right, All right. So. Let's say, okay, uh, fundraising in China. Let, let's have a sure. question based on this. You started Huasha Finance with others like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. three years ago. Three years ago. Yeah. That's right. If you want to start Huasha Finance again, sure. will you start in the same way or you start... Uh, I would say we. I mean, this is kind of I know it's, controversial, it's, 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 and yeah, you're not that's right, that's right. Um No, no, no. I, I would say um, I, I would say we've learned a lot. Um, we've we've done very well. Um, that being said, we haven't we haven't done it without making a mistake along the yeah. way. Um, I, I I don't think any any anyone's perfect, and <laughs> no business is, is certainly perfect. But uh, but but no, we we we've learned a lot along the way. Um, and, and especially for fundraising, um, I, I yeah, think that's yeah, that, a, a in, really in that term, yeah, absolutely. Right. Um, you know, especially in fundraising, and really, um, in in really approaching something that has never been done before. Yeah. Um, and and when we first started, I'll say we, we took an approach of saying, you know, this is what you want, and 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 here it is. Mm -hmm. um, and and. And, and it worked, but but I think there are a lot more efficient ways to do it. Um, that that really market education, market market knowledge, market research. Really, um, uh, you know, we we want to be as connected as possible uh, to to our end consumer. Uh, be it be it an investor in, investing into our services, or or being at a borrower taking out a line of credit through us. That um, um, I, I think. And and something we learned along the way uh, that I that that we could have done from day one was really. Understanding what they wanted, mm -hmm. right, and and really looking at that, and and we had a pretty good idea, mm -hmm. um, but that picture wasn't perfect, um, and it's getting better. It gets better every day. Um, but but actually, yeah. you know what? There are, mm -hmm. I mean, every single company. If sure. you talk to them mm -hmm. and you ask them, mm -hmm. uh, if you say that, would you start mm -hmm. from the same way that you started, like sure. after two years or three years, sure. they would say. 
probably they would say they would have started in a different way. Sure. Even you ask me if you want to start mm -hmm. GBC like since three years ago. Sure. I would I would say no. I would have started completely from a different way. Hey, you should have had me on first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's true. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So uh, mm -hmm. I think it's not about GBC. Mm -hmm. It's not about Huasha. It's not mm -hmm. about. I think it happens for oh, every single learning company. Experience. Yeah, it's, learning a, it's a learning right? experience. Mm -hmm. Because the thing is, when you come with a kind of new product and it's the market, then mm -hmm. you don't it's know what happens. There are a sure. lot of variables. There. Absolutely. There are a lot of unknown areas, sure. unknown things. The unknown unknowns. Yeah, right. exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. And then where you fit yourself mm -hmm. and your product, your company in the market, sure. it takes time. It does. When, when it gets its position in the market, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then you see, wow. You could do it from first in that way, but mm -hmm. I don't think you right. could do it in that way because no. you had no idea what was going on. Of you had no idea mm -hmm. how would it be and so mm -hmm. on. So it, it goes to fundraising. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. it means, like mm -hmm. fundraising is mm -hmm. all uh, getting done by like investors. Sure, they want to come and see, okay, how your business works, sure. how you make money, what kind of value you How you're an doing. investor can make money. Exactly. That's right. That's, exactly. Uh, and investors want to make money Right, exactly. more than they want you to make money, yeah. right? Um, so the question course, coming up here from mm -hmm. you is, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. do you agree if like mm -hmm. investors coming into the company and change mm -hmm. the direction of the company would not mm -hmm. might be mm -hmm. your uh, baby dream that you want? Sure, sure, you know sure. what I'm saying? Sure. What do you think about that? There are mm -hmm. some investors getting to mm -hmm. companies and they change the whole direction of course. because of, of course. earning more money. And sure. then uh, for entrepreneur, it's really important to mm -hmm. stick on mm -hmm. his dream or her dream mm -hmm. to go on. Sure. So sure. what do you think? Like this is a kind of sure. paradox and contradiction for many uh, entrepreneurs mm -hmm. and there are, most of them, they're dealing with this. That's a good question. That, that really anybody that, that wants to be involved with the yeah. company is, they're, they're usually going to want to change a direction of the company. They're, yeah. they're, they're going to want to change an aspect of it. Um, and, and I think that, that it really boils down to what Really, what when we said when we when we founded, we said we we you, you take your 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 couple tenants, right? You yeah. say here's what we want to do. We want to we want to help our people. We want to we want to help society, right? Yeah. Uh, get get involved with charity. Uh, we want to help our shareholders, of course. We want to help our investors. We want to help our borrowers. Um, and and those are our, our, our five main tenants. That mm -hmm. that really, if 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 we can if we can help those five groups at at one time, we're happy. Nice. Um, and and I think that if you're, let's say if you're if you're starting a charity, right? Your your main focus is, is help society. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean that's that's exactly. that's your main focus. Um, you you shouldn't take on an investor if you're in that position that, you know, wants to help investors. Uh, yeah. If if you're running a charity. Um, but but I guess that's a very broad example. That um for for any business and and you do see this a lot that, um, for businesses out there that are raising money, um, there is let's say, honor in rigidity of, of staying on a course, right? That, um, yeah. that there is uh, not, not compromising, right? And, 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 and staying true and, and, and firm. Um, but, but there's also an inefficiency to flexibility. Um, that if, if you are willing to, uh, if, if you are willing to, to achieve an investor's goals, uh, as well as your goals, uh, it's, it's going to be far easier for you to say, well, you know, if, if, if you come in and say, these are my goals and we're going to achieve my goals first before anybody else's, um, you're not going to get very far. I mean, everybody wants to achieve their goals. Uh, if you can create a mutually beneficial environment, uh, you're, you're going to do much better. Um, I think that's one of the things that we, we, really, uh, we really did well, was kind of balancing that of saying, you know, here's, here's our investors, our shareholders, our, our clients, our employees. Um, and, and society, really, and saying, you know, we we want to help out everybody at, 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 at the same speed, right? We're talking about impact. Impact, that's right. And um, and really saying that if you want to, if, if, if you want to, to raise your first round of financing, or if you want to raise your second round of financing, or if, mm -hmm. if you're speaking with investors on a, on a regular, daily, hourly, mm -hmm. if, if every minute you're, you're bringing in, in, bringing in investors, um, it, it never changes. That that you, no one's ever going to no one's ever going to want to help you achieve your goals before you help them achieve their goals, right? Um, exactly. That that there is that there is a balance to that, right? There is a balance to it, and and I think the most successful people that, that I see, not um, not not being omniscient here, but but the most successful people I see, 
uh, are people that can balance it. Um, you know, really design something, uh, be it a business, uh, a community organization, uh, but design something where, where, where you're going to help everybody, um, you know, your, your investors, yourself, your team, your family, uh, and, and your consumer. And if you do that, the, the market will, will speak for you. And if you add up the society mm -hmm. as a kind of impactful uh, value mm -hmm. for the society, mm -hmm. that would be awesome. That would be perfect. Sure. I think it's very, you know, it's, it's sustainability, right? The, yes. the, the, big, yeah. the big key word. Um, but no, it is important um, that, that really you can, you can say it, but it's uh, the businesses nowadays are uh, maybe due to the really uh, permeation of technology, but... Or, or the saturation of advertising, um, businesses are looked at as, as kind of moral compasses, let's say, to, to society. Um, that people are putting more weight upon the, the belief or, or supposed belief of a business. Um, and, and with that comes the responsibility to, uh, to, to help, to, to get involved. You know, either get involved with charity or, or, uh, or, or support programs or, or, or get involved with, with community outreach. Um, but if people are looking towards you as a business, as, as a moral compass, uh, you, you do have a responsibility. You, you have an obligation. Uh, Your background is finance? This background's finance. Right. That's correct. Right. So, I mean, do you have any like mm -hmm. familiarity of the investor's perspective? Uh, absolutely. For, for, for my investments, uh, I, I, I put a lot of money in Hua Sha, as, 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 as everybody there knows. Um, but, uh, but, but no, I try to be very active on the uh, alternative investment uh, yeah. uh, realm as well. Yeah, as an sure. investor, let's say mm -hmm. you're an investor, you go sure. for a startup, sure. doesn't matter, international or Chinese, sure. whether it's local sure. or international. Mm -hmm. What is the most important thing that you would have a look of that company? Is people, is the product? Sure. Sure. Is, um, and this was so it's, so it's a good question that um, so I was at uh, about two weeks ago. Uh, yeah. So this is something I, I regularly do here. Is um, uh, it's it's an organization called Panda Eagle Group, mm -hmm. uh, great company here. They they work with entrepreneurs a lot, um, and they designed a. Um, uh, I, I guess not to say the name of the show on NBC, but they designed a uh, a panel of judges that judge different startups and and look at their equity values and. And see, you know, here's what you need to work on. Here's what you need to change. Here's what you need to adjust. Yes. And and I'm on their panel, and, and one of their uh, one of their advisors there. That um, uh, and and one of the things that one of my fellow judges said that that I'll, I'll, I'll borrow from him. I, I, I don't want to name him. Brilliant guy. Uh, come to the yeah. events. They're great. Um, but uh, they gave you um, contact. Yeah, that, that's right. That's Her right. Uh, he he he. Uh, uh, Panda Eagle Group, great yeah. company, but um, uh, so so really, it was it was kind of his his four criteria that, yeah. that he looks at as a business um, is is management, right? Uh, number one, first and foremost, business. No matter how no matter how cold, dark, and scary business may seem, yeah. uh, all, all businesses are, are built on on people, right? On on dreams and aspirations. Um, so looking at management, number one, um, looking at accessibility. Um, how are you, if there is some problem, right, how are you going to, to resolve it? Mm -hmm. um, number three is, is risk management, right? Um, you know, if, if there is some problem with the company, uh, how are they going to deal with it? Mm -hmm. um, and, and number four is, is uh, it, it kind of, number four changes depending on the industry, um, but, but really for looking at an investment, uh, the biggest thing I'm looking for is liquidity, mm -hmm. right? That, that if I see another opportunity, uh, how can I, amicably resolve um, my, my holdings here and, and move it to another investment. Mm -hmm. um, and really, if a company can answer those four questions um, and, and those really four pillars of how to be successful. Um, management, I'll take risk management, and liquidity. Management, risk management, liquidity, and, and accessibility, like accessibility. Lo looking at, at customer services. So for which stages company? Or so th this, this cross, crosses over for, for all, any company. All, okay, crosses okay. over for any company, any company, any stage. Absolutely. So the, uh, you think that this is the four criteria that you yourself you would that, that I myself would look at? Um, mm -hmm. He said it. I, I immediately said this is the this is this is is my idea put into words. That um. But let's say it, it is really good to mm -hmm. hear that. But mm -hmm. there's what about theme? What about people? What about mm -hmm. the, 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 the 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 kind of dynamic between sure. them? Sure. So, in a startup, mm -hmm. 
it's so important. I mean, the team. Of course, of course. Yeah, if if there is no any uh, good mm -hmm. team, then mm -hmm. how you can have these four factors? Sure, sure, sure. And and I'll I'll, I'll cover that under under the first one of, of just saying management is kind of a broad term, but uh, but no, it really is. It it is the people. Um, that if 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 you have a good people, if if you have a good team. Um, if you have a good structure, uh, a family unit, um, and if somebody can see that, and, and if they can can get that image, uh, and and really see that these people are the ones working on the idea, mm -hmm. right? Um, that will speak far more uh, than than anything else. That cool. if you have a bad team, but a great idea, uh, people are going to be too scared to go near it. Doesn't uh, work. The last sure. question: sure. entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. Crazy Absolutely. entrepreneurs. What is the difference? Entrepreneurs <laughs> and crazy entrepreneurs, right? Um, uh, well, let, let's say the latter is more successful. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, absolutely. That uh, I, I think to be an entrepreneur, you, you have to be a little bit crazy. Um, the, the, a little bit. A, uh, you a little have little to bit. really, really lean for it. Really, really, really go for it. Um, uh, to, to start your own business, I, I give even if even if the entrepreneur is unsuccessful in in their business venture. Um, I, I and, and I think I, I speak on behalf of a lot of people give a lot of credit to to entrepreneurs, and and to be a to be an entrepreneur you you have to be a crazy, crazy entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. you have to be willing to to give it all it takes and and put in the nights and, and sleep in the office and, uh, what, and what about sleeping on your sofa like in the office or in your home on the sofa I mean, you should fall asleep on the desk that's oh. right. <laughs> Uh, no, no, I think it's I think it's Another very question. important. Yeah, Richard yeah. Branson, True. Elon Musk, Jack Ma, which one is crazier? <laughs> oh God! Well, Elon Musk is Tesla's up twelve percent in after hours trading. If you saw that, uh, so 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 good for uh, good for all holders of, of Tesla yeah. stock out there. Good Congratulations! Yeah. yeah, good good for Elon. Uh, yeah. Richard Branson always has a, a, a great flair to him. Yeah. Um, Jack Ma's got a uh, a, 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 cal a calculated brilliance that I think is just just fantastic. Yeah, yeah. That you know, out of out of all of them, I'll say Richard Branson's the most entertaining. Uh, <laughs> Jack Jack Ma's probably the most strategic, uh, and and Elon Musk is is craziest. The, the craziest, yeah, the crazy. most volatile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That uh, no, it's up twelve percent today after hours by market open. Yeah. We could be down forty two percent. Who knows? I'm, oh, yeah. I'm not calling that, but uh, but. Uh, no, yeah, you, you that, do that. have there. There's certain strengths with each type of entrepreneur. And, right. uh, awesome, Mike Vera, mm -hmm. director of Flash of Finance. Really appreciate. It. Thank yeah. you so much. My pleasure. It's good being in. Uh, yeah, thank yeah. you all for tuning in, yeah. and uh, hope awesome. to see you all next time. Yeah, yeah. appreciate. Yeah. Cool. Absolutely. Woo.